Hi folks, Max from Nexus4Root.com. Sorry I haven't had updates um, for a while. Uh, I've been actually playing with my Galaxy S4s um, and also a bunch of stuff been going on. Anyway, I am back with a new run for your Galaxy Nexus 4. No, it's called the Nexus 4, sorry. LG Nexus 4. Um, in settings, about phone, this is the Paranoid Android 3.5, uh, which has the latest Halo um, kind of a multitasking system. Anyway, let me show you how this works. So let's say um, let's say you get an email or uh, maybe you get a tweet, you get a Facebook update, a message, or whatever. However, you set your notifications, or maybe you get a uh, SMS messages. You can put this in here. If you press that button, it'll move that here. You can move it anywhere you like. Uh, fudge. All right. And uh, let me go ahead and put it there. When you click on it, it will go to the side, kind of. Anyway, let me go ahead and uh, wait like five seconds here and until I have some notification from my Twitter. So when you do get notifications, um, you know, basically it will show up here and it will actually kind of show you a short message and uh, boom, it will open up my Google, uh, my Google Plus here, as you can see. And the same thing, it works on any kind of app that uses notifications. Um, your Gmail, I'm getting way too much emails on my Gmail, so I've turned my notifications off, off for that for now. But also it works for your messaging. Uh, anything that kind of has a notification, it'll show up here. And that's pretty much it. And uh, you can always hit the home button um, to get rid of it. But uh, you can actually overlay this on any app you're running. So it is kind of a multitasking in a way. And if I do that, it will go back to the browser. And let me show you two again. I'm there. So when I do receive messages, it will go there. And also, if you don't like the place, you can move it in any, any direction. And this is something that's it's kind of a beta. And uh, sometimes what you have to do, sometimes it will get stuck and I can't press anything um, because it's beta. You can just erase it and it's gone and then it will fix it. Um, that's the only problem I'm having with it. But you can always re-put it in there, put it back in there, and that circle will give you notifications. Other than that, everything else is pretty much the same. Um, you can run all your apps in Paranoid um, Android settings here. I have full tutorial on that. You can watch that on how to do that. And I'm sure many of you installed Paranoid Android before. You know how to use it already. Um, also on the toolbar, you'll get the Halo uh, here, a hide Halo after, after activity. You can also reverse halo gestures, um, dragging the double tap swipe, long press gestures. So there's some additional menus here. But this halo thing is pretty darn cool. It does add, um, you know, kind of sort of a multitasking and kind of, uh, you know, versus the Note 2's multi-window capabilities. This one's really oriented for uh, notifications, you know. So, you know, what you can really do is put it on the full screen pie um, this is the recommended method. Now you don't have a status bar um, because you'll get all your notifications in your circle and you don't have a navigation bar um, because you can use Pi. Uh oh, my Pi is not working for some reason. There we go. And so I've got a bunch of messages. That's how it looks like. Let me go ahead and show you that real quick. Uh, go back to toolbars and you can set your navigation here and let's set the gravity to the right. All right. And now, uh, if I go full screen, this is the beauty of Halo, because now you can use all of your screen for everything. And uh, here we go. If you need to use the navigation buttons, you can use the Pi controls. If you need to check your notifications that you just got, you can click there, and boom, your uh, your uh, you know email pops up. And if you're done with that, simply go home, or you can just click on outside the window. Um, so very nice. I am very impressed. And this is something more, I think, uh, useful to more people than just simply Note 2's uh, multi-window capability. And uh, if this gets kind of better and better, I'm sure we'll see it added even to like the standard AOSP pure Android uh, Google sources. Um, but this is very exciting. And you know, this is like on the bleeding edge of Android. Love it. So sorry, it got kind of long, but I love it. So check it out for your Nexus 4. And uh, do let me know what you think. 
and yeah that's about it and uh, as always if you have a Nexus 4 um, don't forget to sign up for my email list at nexus4root.com we update you once a week uh, or actually it's been more like once a month because I've been busy and uh, yeah and if you're on YouTube please hit that like button for me subscribe button down there and I'll see you guys soon uh, have a great weekend alright